today I'm going to be testing this drawing in the clouds book. Oh my gosh, <laughs> shoot. I so confidently pulled that off the stack thinking that it was right side up. Oh. Okay, let's try that again. Hi everyone, today I am going to be doing a super relaxing video. We're going to be drawing in the clouds. This is the Hirameki Clouds book in the Draw What You See series by Peng and Hu. And I guess the publisher is Thames and Hudson. I think that this is such a cool idea. How many times have you looked up at the sky and thought, oh my gosh, that cloud looks like a dragon or a duck or a cat. <laughs> I've seen many cats in the sky. I bought this book on Amazon. I will link it in the description box below along with these two books, which I'll show you in a second. It's kind of like the reverse coloring books, which I do have a series on. So if you haven't seen those videos yet, I will link them below as well as the eye card up in the corner. I like the back so much. Here it is. There's this little quote. It says, every sky is an inspiration. Every cloud floats free. Unlock your imagination, draw what you see. Oh my gosh, that reminds me kind of like an I Spy book where they have the little rhymes and then you find the things in the pictures. Those are actually so fun. Now, if this book looks familiar and you watch Chloe, AKA Chloe Rose Art here on YouTube, she tested this book recently. It is a really cool Japanese draw what you see book. There are actually three of them in the series that I could find. The original is a lot thicker than this cloud one. If you do want a book for the road, if you're traveling a lot, if you want to pack it in your luggage or just, you know, want something really light for your purse, one of these, so either drawing in the clouds or the cats and dogs version are going to be the ones for you if you just want something really lightweight and portable. In this video, I'm just going to be focusing on this middle one, which is the clouds. But if you do want me to do another video on one of these, the other ones let me know in the comment section below these books are very similar to the reverse coloring book except with this one as you'll see when i flip through there are a lot of prompts that help you if you can't think of something to draw they can both be extremely chill and relaxing but if you do get easily stressed this one since it does tell you little hints on what you could draw in the clouds and what you might see it might be a little bit more relaxing for some of you but i really like both of them it's it is just personal preference, I think, on what you prefer. Let's go ahead and do a little flip through. We have a title page. Oh, cool, okay. I did look at some of the pages, but I haven't seen this one yet. I just kind of like open it up to random <laughs> spots. So this one has purple clouds, kind of like a fuchsia color. And it says, wherever there's a cloud, happiness isn't far away. With just a few strokes of the pen and a dash of your imagination. That reminds me of SpongeBob when he's like, imagination. Hirameki gives a sublime and unexpected sense of satisfaction and delights the hand I am mined. As if by magic in the sky, fluffy clouds come floating by. Look into the atmosphere, see amazing shapes appear. Cloud doodles fill this book, pick up a pen and have a look. I love the rhymes in here. Oh, by the way, did any of you notice that I am solely wearing this fluffy lacy tank top to match the book? <laughs> Reminds me of a cloud. We are matching. Here's what I was talking about. So you flip to the first prompt page. Spread, it's a spread. They do draw some things for you. There are some lines already in there to kind of help you get inspiration. There are these little captions or prompts that say, for example, on this page, look for sheep shapes in the clouds. They have drawn dogs in this little plane and some sheep. Then fly south to miss the crowds. It looks like there's more dogs in this one. You basically repeat the page with your own doodles on this one. Some of them are structured a little bit differently. Here I see Dixie Kong and she's throwing down a couple of banana peels. This one just gives you a bunch of different options and it doesn't 
tell you what you should see. There's no words on this one. They do give you a few examples, but all the other ones, it's just whatever comes to your mind. This one could be a little bit more difficult for certain people if you have trouble with visualization. It's also not that serious. If you don't see anything, you could just draw like Zentangles. This one in the bottom corner here. I definitely see some sort of animal, but the face looks kind of like a dolphin, but then the body wouldn't make sense for a dolphin. So I'm like, maybe a sea lion. Here's the next page. There's just a couple shapes that they give and then you have free range of the rest. find some other examples so this is another grid page oh my gosh is that a mouse i really like the little mouse in the speedboat ah there's a, oh my god there's a dog walking with a cane so here's a really cool one this one says why not fly your chopper home to a castle of your own I mean, why not? This is not using the shape of the clouds. It's using the cloud as an actual cloud island, basically. And they drew a castle and the little helicopter chopper, helichopter. <laughs> so this one, you can make an entire fantasy land and add to what they already have. Oh, this one's cute, Oh, This is a page full of sheep and kitten shaped clouds. And you don't have to follow what they say, but if you have no idea on what you see, turn them into cats and sheep, bye. Let's go ahead and do a quick flip through with a few more of the pages so we can get through this. This is a cruise ship visiting some islands and then we have flowers randomly that are just giant. Here we have poodle face and fuzzy hair Time for walkies in the air. Oh my gosh. I love all the like really obnoxious dog lingo like doggo and walkies and zoomies. <laughs> the only thing I don't say though is hubby. And Stephanie is my editor for this, which this is the second video that she's editing. If you can guess which video she just edited for me recently, leave that in the comment section below. I did mention it in the comments, so it's not that difficult to guess, but if you wanna check out Stephanie's channel, I'm gonna link it in the description box below. She does really awesome fashion design videos and that sort of realm, which obviously I love fashion too. I'm just like not going that route right now with my content. Hopefully we will collaborate on some things in the future. A huge thank you to Stephanie for helping me edit because I am trying to revamp my channel and bring it back to life again. I'm just so motivated to post more. So even though this book looks pretty thin, there's actually quite a few pages. We have, want to do some swimming training. You only get wet if it's raining. The one guy is riding on a duck. That's awesome. Next, this is a bunch of birds and fish. Vikings sailing through the sky. Oh, my hands are shaking because I'm holding this up so much, yikes. Vikings sailing through the skies, shark ahoy. <laughs> Don't capsize. Oh no, they're being attacked by a shark. They're not really being attacked, it's just right there. Next. Okay, ooh, this is, <laughs> 
Why was I so excited for there to be a dark and eerie page? Probably because I watch so many psychological thrillers and creepy shows on Netflix. Some of my favorites of all time, American Horror Story, Bates Motel, Stranger Things. There's a lot more. Comment your favorites below and give me recommendations if there's anything I missed. Oh my gosh, Yellow Jackets season two is out, but I don't think I have the platform anymore to watch it on. So I'll have to get like a little mini membership briefly. Anyway, back to this. Why do I have an eraser here? Why, do I, why did I move the eraser? I don't even know what's going on. Build some stations, lay some track. Full steam ahead, they're back. <laughs> Why does this page remind me of Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory though, if he were in a thriller? Streamlined, shiny, silver surfers. The latest thing for cloud researchers. Spaceships of scientists? I don't know. Scientists sailing through the sky. Can you sail through the sky? I don't know. Moving on. Are those flying jelly beans? Probably not. No, they're high-tech flying. Which, why is there another page? Okay, there's way too many planes in this book. That's probably my only complaint so far. I'm not really super into... Okay, actually, I take that back. I was gonna say I'm not really into machinery and transportation and stuff. However, I do really like classic cars and that is what I geek out over. So if there's a classic car show in the area, I can't even describe how excited I get. But when it comes to like model planes and trains and everything, not really my thing. These pages, I don't know, I might turn into something completely different. Maybe animals, food, dresses. <laughs> anyway. Oh, cute. See, this is more my speed. But I like that there's something for everyone. That is a plus that you don't have to be worried that there's only going to be like girly things or super feminine things like, you know, the stereotype of that sort of thing. So if you are not into animals for whatever reason and you like other things, then there's going to be a good mix in here. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. That was a good one. You thought you were up here solo. Just kidding. But look who's come to say hello, puppies. Oh, they're so cute. But first glance though, I have no idea. I think they just want you to mirror it on that page if you have no clue what to draw. Elephantes, how cute. Hello, who's this? Two by two, cotton wool animals in the cloud zoo. Cotton wool. Hmm. That looks like a dog face, but I don't see a body. I'll have to... Wait, that looks like a horse, maybe? I don't know. This is actually a little bit more challenging than I thought it would be. Kind of looks like a bunny, but I see the ears and the tail. It looks like the back legs are like up in the air. I don't know. Whoa, flipped a few pages. Oh, I did it again. Okay, next. See the pretty ponies dancing through the sky they come a prancing. When I was like five years old, four or five, I was in a dance class. Anyway, now I'm not a good dancer at all. At least I don't think so. One of our dance recital numbers was a circus and there were, po oh no, no. The one we did was, I'm just a horse. I'm a genius, of course. And I move at least a thousand, hundred? I don't know how many, but yeah, I remember the lyrics were like, he's a dancer, he's a prancer, he can move any way you can say. And I'm like, why is there a story about a dancing horse? Well, I probably didn't think that as a kid, but now that I still remember it, <laughs> I'm thinking, why was the horse dancing? I don't know. He wanted to. Next page. Oh my gosh, a stack of animals. It's like Tsum Tsums. Do they even make those anymore? I think two different bears, a piggy, a wallaby, and a bird. Just whatever you want. Let your mind run free. Yeah. 
Is it a tiger? Is it a bear? Is it a lion coming to attack you and the Wizard of Oz? <laughs> I got too into that. Or is it a person with curly hair? I don't know, but that looks like an older woman with a big nose, kind of like, what am I thinking of though? I don't know, she could look creepy honestly, but I think she looks like one of those friendly old women who wears like the babushka. I'm trying to think of which story or movie I would be referring to though, like why did that come to mind? This looks like a guy with a big nose and like clown makeup around his lips or a frog. <laughs> I don't know. I definitely see a person in this one. This looks like someone like the strong man in American Horror Story or like a freak show at the circus. And that or the character from Rocky and Bullwinkle, is it? No way, is it? There's a villain who kind of looks like him. Um, some of these look really creepy though. That looks like an evil mask. All the gods laugh out loud when Elvis practices on his cloud. Oh my gosh. I am the geekiest when it comes to grammar type stuff. I'm not perfect. Obviously, I make up words in my videos and when I'm on the spot, I don't always say sentences correctly. So we just gotta go with it. But I love when there's differences with different uh, regions, I guess, and the way that they spell words in English. So practices, P practice, P-R-A-C-T-I-S-E-S. -E it's C though here in the USA. So in this, are we trying to see mythological gods like Hercules type style? I'm not sure. Kind of looks like that over here. You just kind of make up people. Ooh, this one's colorful. I like this. There's turquoise and some purples. This is pretty. <laughs> We are getting there. We're we're getting there. Oh, this is pretty too. This doesn't really oh, foam. Seriously, that was you, Stephanie. This was literally Stephanie. Stephanie texting me at 2:48 p.m. on Wednesday, March 29th. Okay, you can't see it anymore, but it's her. I'm gonna take a screenshot and I'm gonna send it to you. You might have to. We'll see. Oh, why did I take two screenshots? Dumb. Stop. 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 Okay. This one doesn't really look like clouds, but I guess they could be just super abstract clouds, which is totally valid. They have a place in this book. It's okay, you can belong. That kind of looks like a dog taking a dump. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, we're not even halfway, are we? Oh my gosh, there's still so many left. I will say one thing that some of the pages, they aren't printed in the most crisp and sharp quality. It's not anything majorly, wait, do I have this upside down? Oh, we are. It's not anything majorly bad. Like I wouldn't take a star off of it, but if we're being brutally honest, some of the pages could be a little bit better of print quality, but I don't think it takes away from the experience. I don't think many of you would get this and say, I want this page to hang up in my house and I want it to be perfect. Oh, Gliding through the heavens above, give your cloud some doodle love. Oh, that's cute. He's playing a saxophone and the saxophone is actually my favorite instrument in music. Fun fact that you might not care about, but yeah. My shoulder is getting sore. You know how when there's story time at school or at a library and the reader to the kids, they hold the book up like this for every page. That has to get tiring, honestly. is mostly just open to your interpretation. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can make up fantasy creatures basically because this looks like a mix between a pig and an elephant and it has wings and this one could be a wolf. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, this one kind of looks like smoke. Smoke clouds, I mean, I guess that's a thing too. On the topic of smoke clouds, not really my thing, but if I did do what this could be suggesting, this looks like an extreme peace and love type person, you know?
Who's that riding through the air? The Cloud King on his- wait, wait, I messed it up. Who's that riding through the air? Why, it's just the Cloud King, you know? On his old white mare. I guess we're supposed to draw a king and a horse? Is this a naked woman? Please don't demonetize me. I think that it is. Oh my gosh, this is the best page. <laughs> this is the best page. I'm sorry, cats and dogs. This right here takes the cake. Literally looks like a piece of Renaissance art, like the Romanticism period, I think, where I don't remember the name, please forgive me, but there's a lady swinging and it's supposed to be like a really innocent painting, but there's at least one, per I think there's two people, like a man is like pushing the swing and one's looking through the bushes. So this gives me that kind of vibe. Peeping Toms and then someone just trying to mind their own business. Kind of creepy, honestly. I don't know, I don't know what to think. I don't know how to feel. Next, I feel like I'm flipping people off when I accidentally use my middle finger, but my middle finger is the longest, so it's like natural to want to flip the page. This looks like a Sasquatch and someone who is really just, I don't know, having a day. green clouds. It says, can you see the fearsome dragons? Can I? Ooh, I think so. Long nose, spiky hair, or not hair, but like, you know, dragon head. <laughs> or sea nymphs in their pearly wagons. Um, sea nymphs? I don't really understand this one. Uh, maybe I just don't have a fantasy based mind. It's, it's not strong enough in that area, but I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing what they're putting down, you know? This is just a bunch of different colors of clothes. And another grid page where they've done half of it. If you run out of momentum, it's like, we'll help you. You've got to get to the end. Interesting choice for an almost last page. This is cool. I like the color uh, palette of this one. And I don't feel like there's many where you see, I could be wrong, but I don't think that there were many, if any at all, that have a little sunbeam, like the actual sun, I mean. We have reached the final two pages. It ends with, wait, that cloud's not what it seems. Ooh, plot twist, what could it be? It's the castle of your dream. Oh, the castle of your dreams? What? Does it actually look like a castle though? That one needs a little bit of imagination. To me, that little guy right in the back there looks more like a castle than this one because it's spiky at the top. And then we get to the end. Yay. That was fun. So I hope that you got a little bit of inspiration for a book that you might wanna get and or if you do have this book or do plan on getting it, that I gave you some ideas for what you could draw in here. I thought this was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for my upcoming videos. I am posting more here in 2023. I hope you have a great rest of the day and I'll see you soon, bye. I don't know what was so funny. I'm like, why am I laughing? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. 
my shoulder is so sore. I did have a shoulder day last night for my workout. Anyway, I gotta go.